Welcome all. Today we are going to discuss about modern educational thinker Mahatma Gandhi's vision of education. Mohandas Karanjant Gandhi was an Indian lawyer, anti-colonial nationalist and political ethicist who became the leader of the Indian independence movement against British rule, employing non-violent civil disobedience. Gandhi led India to independence and inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. He was born October 2, 1869 in Porpandar, India. He studied law at University College London and trained as a barrister at the Inner Temple. Then he moved to South Africa in 1893 to represent an Indian merchant in lawsuit, spent 21 years there and developed his political views, ethics and politics. Returned to India in 1915 and took leadership of the Indian National Congress in 1921. Led nationwide campaigns for various social causes and for achieving Swaraj or self-rule. In 1930, he led the famous Salt March Dundee to protest the British imposed Salt Tax. During World War II, he launched the Quit India Movement demanding an end to British rule of India. He assassinated on January 13, 1948 in New Delhi, India. Gandhi's philosophy of non-violence and his passion for freedom and social justice have made him a towering figure in world history. He is often referred to by the honor, honorific Mahatma, meaning great soul, and is celebrated for his contributions to humanity. His birthday, October 2nd, is commemorated worldwide as the International Day of Non-Violence. Gandhi's concept of basic education or Naitalim was revolutionary for its time and remains relevant today. It was a response to the colonial education system that he believed was alienating Indian children from their culture and environment. The key aspects of basic education are one is first is holistic approach. Naitalim was not just about literacy or vocational training. It was about the development of the whole person in intellectually, physically and spiritually. The second one is self-sufficiency. The curriculum include training in crafts and skills that would enable students to be self-sufficient and contribute to the economy of their community. The third one is social equality by integration various Integrating various forms of work into education, Gandhi aimed to break down the caste barriers and promote social equality. The fourth one is cultural integration. Basic education was rooted in the local culture and environment, making it more relevant and accessible to the rural population. This principle is closely related to the concept of basic education and is based on the idea that active Participation in practical activities lead to deeper understanding and retention of knowledge. It was implemented through first one is craft centered curriculum. Students engaged in craft work, agriculture, and other productive labor as part of their learning process, which helped them understand the practical applications of their studies. Second one is integration of work and study. Instead of separating academic study from manual work, Gandhi's model combined them, teaching students the dignity of labor and the value of self reliance. Third one is experiential learning. Gandhi believed that true education comes from experience and not just from books or lectures. This approach encourages critical thinking and problem solving skills. Gandhi placed a strong emphasis on the moral and ethical dimensions of education. He believed that the purpose of education should extend beyond mere academic learning to the cultivation of a person's character. The key points are First one is ethical foundation. Education, according to Gandhi, should be grounded in an ethical foundation that promotes values such as truth, non-violence, self-discipline, and respect for others. The role of teachers. Teachers were seen as role models who exemplify these values, thus playing a crucial part in the moral development of their students. Integrated curriculum. Moral education was not a separate subject but integrated on into the entire curriculum with every subject taught in a manner that reflects ethics princip ethical principles. Community service. Engaging students in community service was another way to develop their character, fostering a sense of responsibility and empathy towards others. Gandhi's concept of education for life was about preparing individuals for all aspects of life, not just a, for a profession or an occupation. It 
the elements are first one is lifelong learning education is a continuous process that does not end with formal schooling it is a lifelong journey of, of learning and self improvement second one is practical knowledge Education should equip individuals with practical knowledge that can be applied in everyday life, such as health, hygiene, nutrition, and problem-solving skills. Cultural re relevance. Education should be culturally relevant, reflecting the values, history, and traditions of the society in which one lives. Adaptability. The ability to adapt to changes and challenges in life is a crucial outcome of true education according to Gandhi's vision. Gandhi's vision for education included the integration of work and knowledge which he believed were inseparable in the context of true learning. The key points are dignity of labor. Gandhi emphasized that all work, whether manual or intellectual, has dignity and should be respected. He believed that integrating work into education would help remove social and economic inequalities. Second one is self-reliance. By learning various crafts and skills, students become as self-reliant and capable of supporting themselves and contributing to the society. Social harmony. Work and knowledge integration aim to promote social harmony by breaking down the barriers between different types types of labor and creating a sense of unity among learners the fourth one is practical application this approach ensures that knowledge is not just theoretical but has practical applications making education more relevant to students lives the use of the mother tongue is education was another important aspect of gandhi's educational philosophy why he educated it he educated for it because First one is ease of learning. Gandhi believed that children learn best in their mother tongue as it, as it is the language they are most comfortable with the understand they play. Second one is cultural preservation. Using the mother tongue as the medium of instructions help preserve and promote one's culture and heritage. Third one is better expression. Students can express themselves more freely and creatively in their native language, leading to a more engaging and effective learning experience. The last one is strong foundation. A strong foundation is in the mother tongue can also facilitate the learning of additional language later on. Mahatma Gandhi advocated for free and compulsory education for all children, which he saw as a fundamental right and a necessary step toward social equality. The key elements of this, this, this principle are, first one is universal access. Education should be accessible to all children regardless of their social, economic or cultural background. Second one is eradication of illiteracy. By making education compulsory, Gandhi aimed to era eradicate illiteracy and empower individuals with the knowledge and skills needed for active citizenship. The third one is foundation of, for democracy. He believed that education is the foundation for a healthy democracy as it equips citizens with the ability to make informed decisions and contribute to the governance of their country. The last one is social transformation. Transformation. Free and compulsory education was seen as a tool for social transformation, helping to uplift the unprivileged and create a more equitable society. Long before the modern environmental movement, Gandhi's teachings included a deep respect for nature and the principles of sustainable living. Here is First one is harmony with nature. Gandhi taught that we should live in harmony with our environment using natural resources responsibly and sustainably. Second one is simple living. Simple living. He promoted the idea of simple living and minimal consumption, which is now recognized as a way to reduce our ecological footprint. The third one is local self-sufficiency. Education should promote local self-sufficiency and the use of local resources which reduces dependence on external system and it is better for the environment. The last one is global relevance. Today, Gandhi's principles of environmental awareness are globally relevant. Aligning with the goals of environmental education to foster a sustainable future. Gandhi was a strong advocate for gender equality and this extended to his views on education. First one is equal opportunities. Both boys and girls should have equal access to education with the same opportunities to learn and grow. Second one is breaking stereotypes. Education should be free from gender stereotypes, promoting the idea that all individuals, regardless of gender, are capable of achieving the same goals. Third one is 
co-education Gandhi supported co-educational systems where boys and girls study together which helps in mutual respect and understanding from a young age the last one is empowerment gender neutral education empowers all genders leading to a more balanced and equitable society the idea of fostering community and self-reliance was central to gandhi's vision of education the key aspects are first one is self-sufficient communities education should be enable individuals to contribute to making their community is self-sufficient and sustainable the second one is local resources utilizing local resources for learning and development was encouraged promoting an understanding of the local environment and economy the third one is social responsibility Gandhi's educational model taught students to be socially responsible and to work for the welfare of their community the last one is interdependence while fostering self-reliance gandhi also emphasized the interdependence of individuals within a community highlighting the importance of cooperation and collaboration thank you